Okay, so let's do this one. It's a law of multiple proportions question. It says methane and propane are both constituents of natural gas. A sample of methane uh, contains 5.70 grams of carbon atoms and 1.90 grams of hydrogen atoms combined in a certain way. Whereas a sample of propane contains 4.47 grams of carbon atoms and 0 0.993 grams of hydrogen atoms combined in a different way. Show that the two compounds obey the law of multiple proportions. Okay? So remember, the law of multiple proportions comes into play when you have uh, two or more compounds that are composed of the same types of elements, but different numbers of those elements. Okay? So how, how does it work? What you want to do is um, take what, well, the ratio of the different elements in each one of the molecules, okay, and then divide that, divide that number that you get by the number you get from the other one, and if those two numbers are um, simple whole numbers, then that obeys the law of multiple proportions, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so uh, if, it do if it doesn't, it's okay, we'll, do, we'll show it on the example, okay? okay. So how do I do this? Uh, it's, but it sounds much harder than, you, than it actually is. So the way I usually do it, because we want um, you want to have a big number as opposed to a decimal point, you know, so like a number higher than one then, as opposed to a number lower than one. So I always put the bigger number above the smaller number, yeah. So what you're going to do is just divide like that for methane and divide like that for propane, okay? And let's get our calculator out and do it together. So we're going to get... 5.70 divided by 1.90, okay? Oh. And I get there you go. <laughs> 30, okay? Like that. And then, and in fact, if you want to, we could do 3.00, since there's three sig figs. We probably should do that. Okay? And then here, let's do the same thing. So 4.47 divided by 0.993. Okay, and in that case, I get 4.50, okay? So now, well, we can say, I don't know if you can tell, but you, if you divide these two, you're going to get another ra a ratio of whole numbers. But it might be hard for you to see that, because if we do it like this, um, 3.00 divided by 4.50, that really doesn't look like two whole numbers, right? Because that one's not a whole number. But what you can do, and hopefully you've already thought about this, right? You can take them and multiply them both by the same number, and if we do that, we get 6 and 9, like that, and then we can take that down to 2 and 3, like that, okay? So 2 is a simple whole number, and 3 is a simple whole number, so check. That um, obeys the law of multiple proportions. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's much easier. It's much easier than what it seems to be, right? Yeah, are, there any are there any more questions on this? No. no. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful.